Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. You are now watching the Grumpy Easterner for some reason. Okay, hello. So in today's lesson, I will show you how to properly clean camera lens without scratching them. Uh, you would think this is a concept uh, that many people will grasp. Uh, clean it, don't scratch it. From my experience and from the lenses I have seen, uh, it's it's very foreign concept to many people. Uh, there are many ways how to do it. Mine is useful for any kind of lens. Let's say you have old lens. Small lens. Big lens. Lens that are attached to a camera. So you can clean one side, open it and clean the other. Or just plain old phone. Uh, I, I actually don't have a smartphone, so... Just imagine it's a smartphone, it has camera lens, you can clean that as well. So, uh, about a month ago I bought this. Uh, it looks like a camera and now it uh, mostly serves as a film ripper. Uh, but I'm not interested in the camera itself, I'm interested in the lens. It's standard Russian. Uh, Helios uh, 44-2, which is uh, Carl Zeissia clone. Now, the first thing you want to do is uh, detach the lens. This is old uh, M42 mount. Uh, in America you know this as a Pentax screw mount. So you just unscrew it. Put the camera aside and before you just put it on the table make sure the glass elements in the back don't touch the table. Now you are left with uh, the lens itself. Uh, for the cleaning process you might want to use protection if you have sensitive skin or anything or if you have sweaty palms and uh, you worry that uh, you will touch it and uh, mess it up again. So what happens when you open it? There are two possibilities. The lens cap you can basically throw away or give it to someone. It's useless at this point. If you have just the lens, that's fine, it's very easy, we can start. But um, in some cases there is actually a UV filter attached to the lens. And by attached I mean really, really attached. Because some Russian in 1971 screwed it on and never took it off. What to do? You can try it by hand. But sometimes that doesn't work. You can buy these uh, detaching tools online. They can be $15 and it will somehow grab it. Or some people say, oh, just uh, buy a standard uh, rubber mat and try to do it this way. No. Rubber band. Put it around, make sure it's on the filter and then you have a nice grab. You might lose the rubber band in the process, but it doesn't matter. 
it will give you a very good grip. Just put the rubber band over the filter. The older filters, they have, uh, they have thick, how is it called? Rain. So it shouldn't be a big problem. Fine, you have the filter detached. If you want to use the filter again, you can, uh, or you can buy one online for two or three dollars, or you can buy some famous brand for fifty dollars. It's, in my experience, it's really not worth it, especially for uh, cheap lens like this. This is very good for uh, video work. Now for the cleaning itself. What you will need is this balloon. Uh, the first thing you do is just blow the excessive mess from the lens. Uh, why do you need the balloon? Uh, the sprays are too expensive and uh, your breath is too moist. So the balloon is the best option you have. Uh, in this moment you got rid of uh, the biggest pieces of dust. You inspect the lens. Yep, there isn't anything big. Now for the brush. Uh, again, buy it online. Don't go to a store and uh, spend ten dollars on this. Uh, online, uh, just, just without a brand online you can get these for I think this was four dollars a uh, pack of three. And softly, very softly, got rid of get rid of uh, all the dust on the glass and clean the dust from other parts of the lens as well. Again, very very softly. and do the same on the other side. Uh, check for oil. If there is oil, don't get it on your brush. Here, you just get rid of all the dust and uh, tiny particles of metal and so on. And now for the fun part. There are two options you can use. I will show you both. Uh, one is using cotton with isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is a very good liquid, just uh, buy a liter or five liters or gallon, uh, just store it at home, put it in small bottle so you can use it for cleaning, cleans of many things, uh, many types of glue, uh, many types of uh, old rubber and so on and it won't damage uh, glass uh, coating so isopropyl alcohol and use it to soak and clean the whole lens sorry for the missing piece of video what I did there was I cleaned it with a wet cotton, then I put it aside, took a dry piece of cotton and wiped the excessive isopropyl alcohol from it. The cart got full. Okay, so after drying with the cotton, you use uh, this piece of fabric. Uh, this is optic uh, screening fabric. Uh, you can buy one with uh, your uh, glasses or you can buy one in a camera store or again online. Go for the soft one, for the one that doesn't leave threads. And now clean the lens dry.
check against the light for any smudges or any remaining pieces of dust. Okay, that will be one side uh, and one method. The other one is simpler. I prefer this one. You use just a cloth, dip it in isopropyl alcohol and clean it this way. Back and forth and then from the center to the edges. Once again back and forth from the center to the edges. Take the dry part or dry piece and again from the center to the edges. Check for smudges. No smudges there. Our job here is done. Now you can rarely find uh, the rear landscape or the front landscape uh, in a good condition for a reasonable price uh, from the time when this one was made. So just uh, buy a stock online. You can use these kinds of Chinese rear landscapes. They are not always perfect. Sometimes they don't fit. And same goes for the front lens caps. Do you want to use uh, a UV filter or not? If you are using digital camera, some people say it's not necessary. Uh, for film, film camera, yeah, you will need it. Uh, but for the protection of the lens itself, I always suggest using uh, a standard cheap but properly checked UV filter. Uh, this one, when you buy it, you always need to clean it. I have been using this one for a while. I checked if there aren't any impurities uh, or if there isn't anything uh, wrong with it. No, this one was okay. Uh, I think it was 99 cents. But again, get rid of all the dust and do the same process with a cloth or uh, I prefer the cloth. Do the process with a cloth, the wet side, clean it like this and again from the middle to the edge, once again from the middle to the edge and the same with the dry part, dry it properly. Last thing before you mount the UV from both sides, of course. Uh, last thing before you do this. Close it and it can stay on for another 50 years. Your lens is clean and uh, it's ready to be used either on a film camera or on a digital camera. As I say, this works on all types of lenses uh, that are actually made of glass and uh, it should work on plastic as well. The isopropyl alcohol doesn't damage uh, the multi-coating on the lens. You always want to have, you don't need a balloon uh, when you're traveling, but you always want to have this, I think it's called lens pen, I'm not sure. You always want to have this with you uh, when you are somewhere in the mountains, it gets a little bit dirty, 
uh, you have no clean piece of cloth uh, and it's never a good idea to try to clean your lens with uh, your sweater or t-shirt. Oh my god, I've seen people doing that. No. And always have uh, a few pieces of uh, this one. It comes usually in uh, 8 by 8 inches or 20 by 20 centimeters. I'm getting better with imperial measures. Uh, cut it into stripes like this. Also carry several rubber bands. It will get uh, handy uh, for keeping things together. Uh, get some spare uh, filters, maybe a spare lens cap. You will be losing these a lot. And uh, you can also get a small plastic bottle for the isopropyl alcohol and carry it by your side. Uh, they come in very handy. Uh, just to do, uh, through last year I used it to clean uh, remaining bits of glue in my office uh, from, the, from the ground. Uh, there was uh, a very good usage of this when taking down uh, some stickers. So like uh, if you have this sticker for uh, highway vignette, paying for uh, highway you, you can take it out from the window without any glue remaining on there. It's, it's a good idea to get uh, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, for the next video topics, it depends on what you want to see. We can speak for a moment about using uh, 19th century lens on a camera. We can take some shots uh, with uh, different types of lenses, uh, the old ones from the 50s or uh, we can speak about lens hacking, um, making uh, lens into something uh, slightly different, taking some optical elements apart putting new ones in, getting a different type of uh, image. We already spoke about uh, the Roliflex. This one is uh, Twin Lens Reflex Flexeret. It's a Czechoslovak one made from the 30s, under slightly different name, uh, till uh, the 70s. It was very popular here. Some people still use it. I particularly like uh, this system, it's very comfortable to use. This is how you focus. So, eh, so just a topic. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time.